for all the right reasons, this guy is the favorite. Back in 2020, they fought. It was a very short-lived fight overall. Vera kicked the leg of O'Malley. He went down. TKO. <clears throat> and uh, Vera gets the victory. Now we're redoing it again for a title fight. Now, the one thing here why I think money has poured in on uh, Sean O'Malley is just overall, it's going to be a striking bout. And he's clearly the better striker overall. He's going to have the cleaner combinations. He's going to have the better timing, the accuracy. All those things really work well for him. And again, his footwork is really where he finds a lot of success, working in, working out of pocket, throwing nice uh, counter combinations. Now, the issue with Vera is that he's low volume. You know, the guy has power. The guy is a good kickboxer. He has good range, but he just does not put out enough volume overall. Also, his big issue is for the first round or two, I mean, and this is at an absolutely high clip, for every fight of his, he does not really throw many punches in the first round. And I think it's mostly because of just downloading information, getting his reads on his opponent, getting opportunities to kind of have what he can and, and then kind of move from there through the second and the third round. And that could be a problem here where he's going to fall behind on strikes. O'Malley's going to push the pace a lot there. And I think also that Vera's going to struggle just cutting the distance. O'Malley's going to be on his bike. He's going to be running around the cage, slapping at legs, working at range. And I think that's going to be very, very difficult for Vera in this spot. And where I'm going kind of with my bet here is I do think this goes to a decision. I, I don't think this is going to be something you're going to see a finish. I think that both of them are going to work at range. I don't think there's going to be, you know, this, you know, O'Malley's not going to give him a brawl. But the other part is that Vera has eight losses in his career. All of them are by decision. He is very durable. He is very good with that. Yes, he can be, you know, get behind on opponents and knock them out late in fights. But I still think this is O'Malley here. I think that him via points is the spot right now. You're looking around plus 130 on O'Malley via points. I like it. I think he keeps the title and he does it via decision.